everybody and welcome to my channel this is the fourth week of craft fair ideas with the lovely leslie and for this week i'm going to do one of the favorites uh, reindeer food but mine's i'm doing mine with a bit of a twist because if you've got a fussy eater like i have in the house that you're trying to get used to herbs and spices is i'm going to take out the oats and i'm going to use the mixed herbs also i'm sure that the reindeers can't eat all them oats and barleys at every house so i thought well we'll give them a bit of a, a varied diet and uh, hopefully encourage my little one to um, start having food with uh, herbs in so i thought i'll give it a bash like i said i don't do craft fairs but this um I will be going in my uh, children's box. They don't have a Christmas Eve box because I think they have so much um, on Christmas morning that I, I personally don't do that. What I do is I give them a box uh, when they finish school. So this will go in that box for when they finish school. And I've just used one of my nesting die cuts, folded it in half. I've die cut a little reindeer out. So I'm just going to pop the reindeer on, in fact no I'll do that after I've put the topper on. I've got a little scoop, I've got a cup to do the mix in. So first of all I'm going to put some herbs in, mixed herbs, plus this is going to smell really nice as well, having the mixed herbs in. And I've got artificial snow, I'm just going to put a bit of this in as well going to go everywhere probably. Let's skip it like that. See how we're doing. Get a good mix together. So it looks like that so far. Right, and into that I'm going to add a few sequins. Because also, what I, <laughs> what I do is, I know a lot of people that put their poems on and sprinkle it on the lawn and, oh, look at it glitter at night. But I'm mean and I don't let my children sprinkle it on the lawn because I don't like all that spread on the lawn, to be perfectly honest. And I also don't want like the cats that are around our way coming along and thinking that the glitter is something to eat or the... the artificial snow or the hedgehogs so it's personal preference each to their own whatever you want to do so what i do is i leave it with the carrot well no my children leave it with the carrot and the mince pie and the cup of milk for santa and rudolph and the other reindeers and santa takes this when he goes after he's dropped his presents off and he gives it to the reindeers. He shares it out between them. So we don't drop it on the lawn. We leave it with a little plate with goodies. And the thank you letter to Santa. Right, so this is just an ATC sleeve. I've seen massive cones done. There's, um, but to me, this, this is just going in the bin. So... Uh, I'm not going to put loads of products in it and make it massive and huge uh, when I know it's going in the bin. But that's just me. I'm not a wasteful person. I'm very frugal. There we go. There's the reindeer mix. I need to add a bit more heart sequins in just to give it a bit more colour. Another angel. There we go. That's what the mix looks like. Now I am going to tape the top of this up. So I'm just going to put it in between because obviously you've got little bits of sage in there that could potentially spread absolutely everywhere. It doesn't matter if you don't catch it all together in. Um, 
bit fiddly this thought. But if you're used to doing shakers in this way and you haven't got a fuse tool, I've got a fuse tool though and I still do shakers cards and shakers samples in this way. So it actually saves getting the fuse tool out and waiting for that heat up. Right, so I've just, just taped together at the top. Like I say, I've got a little one of my nesting dies. Here's the bag topper, folded it in half. Put a double sided tape. So I'm hoping that with, I was leaving a reindeer food mix with mixed herbs in, that it might encourage my daughter a bit more. Actually, reindeers are ruminants and have a four chambered stomach and it's quite natural for them to eat off uh, sage and uh, graze on grass so it's quite actually a good idea hopefully um, it's got a bit there. this die cut that I'm using is a cheap one from China I'm going to set, so I'm just going to stick him on. This is another one that come in the same set. It just says happy, happy holidays. So I'm going to stick that on as well. I'm not overly bothered about it being perfect because like I say, it's just, it, it is literally going in the, when the finished school box, put out for Santa and then finds its way to the bin so it's nice it's novel who I've first thought of this it doesn't want to stick to this and it's still yeah it does stick that on so that is my version of reindeer food and I know a lot of people do sell these uh, anyway at um, the craft fairs but I've just done mine a little bit different okay then thanks for watching I hope you like the idea thank you very much bye